What's going on everybody? Today we're going to go through a full lower body workout and I'm going to share with you the number one thing that you are probably doing that is negatively impacting your lower body workouts. We're going to get to a sick edit of the leg workouts and then after that edit, like I said, I'm going to show you the full workouts and then I'm going to show you that one thing that you are probably doing that will change the way that you hit your legs. So, first we're going to need that edit. And The number one mistake that you're making in your lower body workouts is not properly warming up. So today I'm going to take you through my full dynamic warm up that you should do before your next lower body workouts. It's going to help you lift more weights and stay safe so you can keep making progress in the gym. So with it being a lower body workout, we're going to start on the bike, get some blood flow in the legs, get your heart rate up a little bit. We're going to start off with a 10 calorie bike. Now we're going to come back to the bike two more times for a total of three times. After the first set of bike, you're going to do a 20 second hollow hold, a 20 second superman. You're going to do five bird dogs on each side with five second holds on each rep. So we're getting our core activated here, getting ready for some heavy lifts. And then you're going to do the world's greatest stretch, five reps on each side, getting your back loose. We're going to go back to the bike, another 10 calorie bike, pick up that pace a little bit. And the second round, we're going to get your hips open, five rocking adductor stretches on each side. Then you're going to go into 10 straight leg lifts. Again, getting your hips nice and warm. Five hip cars on each side. And then you're going to finish up with 10 fire hydrants on each side. Back to the bike. Last 10 calorie bike. Again, getting that blood flow into the, to the legs. We should be pretty warm by now. You're going to finish the last round with a 20 second split lunge hold on each side. Really getting those legs to burn. And then you're going to finish up with five baby makers. This is really going to help you get nice and warm for your heavy lifts, get your hips open, get your core activated so that you can lift more weights and perform better. Total exercises with three supersets. First superset is going to be a back squat with a lying leg curl. On the back squat, we're going to do four heavy sets. Now, I've done a couple warm-up sets before this just to acclimate to the weight. So the back squat reps are five, five, three, and three. The leg curl is going to be a single leg leg curl, and we're going to do four sets of 10 on each leg on each set. Working each leg independently, it's going to help you make sure that we have balance in our hamstrings so that we don't have one hamstring that's stronger or bigger than the other. So isolating with the squat. Like I said, going back to the squat, you're going to progressively build on each set. So four total working sets to play around with. What I did on the first set was 275 for five, then came back on the second set and hit 300 for another set of five. Felt really good, moved well. Um, again, just acclimating to some weight so that we're going to build up in that third and fourth set. On that leg curl, one tip that I have for you guys is make sure that you're pulling through your heel and you're going to pull your toe back towards your leg. What this is going to do is going to re really help you use that hamstring, making sure that we're not using too much weight, that we're throwing a bunch of weight around. Focus on just using your hamstrings and really pulling through your heel like you're going to kick yourself in the butt. If you're interested in the outfit that I have on today, you can head over to fitgroundapparel.com. These are two of our items from my fitness apparel line. If you use the code YT25, you're going to get 25% off your first purchase. So go check it out if you're interested. We have a full men's and women's line. Use that code YT25, save yourself 25%. I will leave the link in the description to the website and the description below. Superset B, we're going to superset a split lunge for 10 reps on each side with a leg extension. Now with that split lunge, really focus on taking the stance that you would for a regular lunge and just moving straight up and down, isolating each leg again, working on that front leg. You're gonna go back and you're gonna isolate the quads again with a leg extension. Three sets of 10 to 12 reps. What this is really gonna do, it's gonna really fry out your quads on this superset. It's really gonna tax them. Each round is gonna get a little bit harder and that's the beauty of this superset. On that split lunge, like I was saying, take the same stance that you would for a regular lunge. We're just working straight up and down, and that front leg is really doing all the work. 
Try to focus on not letting your knee collapse. Try to not focus on letting your that bar take you forward. Really trying to focus on just making the legs do the work. On your last set of leg extension, I ended up doing a drop set. So last set, 10 to 12 reps. Once you hit that 10 to 12th rep to failure, you're going to drop the weight. Usually what I would do is drop about 20 to 30 pounds, depending on how much weight you're using, and then continue another set to failure at that 10 to 12 reps. It's a really good way to take it past failure. Part C, the final superset. Supersetted a Romanian deadlift with the sled push. Now, I've done a full review on the torque tank. Um, so, if you're interested in, in checking that out, you can check it out on my channel. But we supersetted the Romanian deadlift with a torque tank. So, mixed in some conditioning, some lower body focus conditioning. Um, on the sled, we're going 200 feet cumulative on each set. And the Romanian deadlift is three sets of 10. With your Romanian deadlift, just focus on slight bend in your knee and focus on just moving from the hips. With that Romanian deadlift, a lot of people, a lot of times what I see them do is they're focusing on kind of basically doing a regular conventional deadlift and they're not isolating the hamstrings. So focus on just moving from the hamstrings, just moving from the hips so you can isolate those muscles. Sled push, working as hard as we can for a cumulative of 200 feet. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now you guys understand how important it is to proper warm up before that leg workouts, before you get into your heavy strength stuff and your accessory work, you need to hit your warm up. I made the perfect bicep and the perfect six pack ab work workout video last week. Um, they're on my channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure that you go check those out. I'll leave the link in the description of those two as well. Go check out fitgroundapparel.com. Like I said, use that discount code YT25. That's a limited time discount where you save 25% off your entire order. So check out my fitness apparel brands. And if you don't already know, Go to gymsupwithscience.com. You can use the code FITGRIND. You can save 15% off your gym subs. Got some pro gym after the workouts. Always hit that pre gym for the workouts. Use the code FITGRIND. You can save 15% on those subs. So with all that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.